Spacey's Sims, and we are here with a quick, it's not quite an update poll video thing. It's a little bit different than normal, but that's what this is. So if you, well, first, let's get something out of the way. This is going to be a little bit about Sims and a little bit about Otome game stuff. Sim stuff first, so then people who only watch for the Sim stuff don't have to watch the rest of it. So I know I haven't put up Sim stuff in a while. Um, uh, you know, it's because I recorded in advance. I was going away. We kind of know this. I kind of explained that stuff. I didn't get a chance to finish doing the recording I wanted to do before I went away. And then when I came back, it was like, I just got back. I don't want to do it. I got to catch up on the Atome stuff. And then I just haven't been motivated to do it. Um, I've been feeling more lately like I really do want to load up my Sims games. It's not that I don't miss my Sims. I do. It's just crap. I got to update all my mods. And then all of a sudden now everything that's coming out with all the terrain tool stuff and all that, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have to re-update the mods. I know that that patch now isn't probably coming out till November. Um, so I'm like, well, maybe I'll just update my mods. I just didn't want to like, I'm going to update all my mods. And then a week later, I'm going to have to fucking update everything again, because there's nothing I can't stand more than having to update everything. Um, I love the Sims, uh, you know, and I'm so glad that they keep releasing new stuff and, you know, whatever. Um, but it's just really frustrating because I can't play without mods. I'm sorry. More power to you if you can, but I cannot. I it just, I can't. So um, I haven't quite decided, you know, what I'm going to do. Um, plus, I'm also trying to get ahead of recording because I am going to, there's a weekend that I am taking off from recording. So, I mean, who knows? Uh, so that's it about the Sims. I just, I don't know when stuff is going to come back. I do want to get it back in. It's just, I haven't felt motivated to do it. And now that I'm starting to feel like, well, yeah, maybe I do want to load up my Sims games and do some stuff. It's like, oh God, there's going to be so much updating and so many changes. So it's, it's just getting motivated to go through, update all my mods, do everything like that, and then get right back into recording for now everything's going to break. So it's going to be a little spotty with that if we do anything um, for the next month or so, just because of the big update that's coming. So I just want to let you know that. Um, but I do want to finish Patchy and the Gnome. We really only had one episode left. And then um, I'll probably just wind it down and just have like maybe three different things as opposed to trying to do too much just because then I get burned out. Like, so, so I'll have to figure that out. And um, I might just do Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so that was it. I just want to let you guys know that because like, I know people that have watched that do like watch all the sim stuff have probably wondered like where the hell did my stuff go and it's like it just kind of was bad timing like I didn't get to record everything in advance and then when I came back and it was like eh, I just don't feel like doing it and then now all that update stuff but if that update's not coming out until you know like November we might have time to do stuff but you know don't don't hold your breath because you'll pass out um you know but eventually it will come back it's not that I've given up on it it's just I don't know, when I think about going to record, that's not, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, meh, so I'll get back to it, I just gotta get my mojo back, you know, and I'm sure once I get my mojo back, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I missed this, it's really just the, I don't wanna update all my mods, you know, because it's a pain in the ass, I just wanna jump in and record, but I know I have to do it, so just, just, just be patient with me until I get the mojo to do that, but anyway, now on to the Atome stuff, so if you're just here for Sim stuff, you can skedaddle. You don't have to waste your time watching the rest of this three-hour long video. It's not going to be that long. But if you care about the Otome games or the other games that we play, stick around. Um, so what I normally do is like a poll video uh, and say like, hey, pick the next game. I'm not quite doing that this time. I have a different choice for you this time around. So um, as we know, Hakuoki Kyoto Wins is probably going to wrap up by the end of October. Then we're going to start uh, Edo Blossoms. No question there. No problem. That's what we're doing. You can, if I said, we're going to stop and do something else in between, there would be a lynch mob coming after me. So no, we're still going to do you know, Blossoms after it. So there you go. Um, Cholerex Malice just started. Uh, that's probably going to be a while because really only the first chapter, chapter zero technically, is the common chapter. And then everything else after that is individual to each one of the guys. So I have a feeling those are going to, that's going to take a little bit longer to play. So I, I, I'm estimating we're probably going to be playing that into November, probably to the end of November. I don't know. I've only recorded all the way through the first path. So I don't know when this is going up. So I'm not going to say anything about whose path we end up on. We might, we might have already gotten there. We might not. Um, but the first guy's route we've already done. 
Um, I have not started doing the second one yet because I was catching up on other stuff. But what I have done in the meantime is I have finished Psychedelic of the Black Butterfly. So again, I'm like a ways ahead. But that kind of just wrapped up fast because you're just going down this path and this path and this path. And it, it just, they go faster, you know. Um, so the game, it was kind of short, honestly, but it was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I can't wait for you guys to see it all. I know you're enjoying what's out there. It just gets better, trust me. Um, but uh, so with that being said, I literally just finished recording that tonight. So what you're going to see is when that video goes up, me going, I don't know, maybe I'll put up a poll video or maybe I'll just pick a game and I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm sitting here thinking about it and I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this. So I literally just finished recording it like half an hour ago and here we are. Um, so you again, won't see that until the future. So it's going to seem really weird, but you know how this works. We got some time Lord shit going on on this channel. That's how... It works. The past me and future me's don't line up. But anyway, um, so I was thinking about it like, okay, we could do a normal poll video, put up the things. I'm not going to do that. Um, what I want you guys to tell me, do you want to play a standard visual novel like we've been doing? So obviously in that, that includes things um, like Psychopaths, Mandatory Happiness, because that's not really a romancy game. That's like a normal visual novel game. But I'm going to lump that in the normal. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I really invest really want to play that one right now um but i'm putting that in with the other things like chaos child um period cube the other psychedelica so psychedelic of the ashen hawk where there are normal romancy atome games there are standard ones i have a ton of them guys i have a bazillion of these on steam those are just my playstation 4 and my ps vita ones um but i have a ton of them we have hot of a boyfriend you name it i probably fucking have it not even not even funny. Um, but that's the standard. That's what we've been doing. You know, we like Hakuoki, like Code Realize, like Amnesia Memories, all those games where they're the standard kind of romancy games. They might have a little bit of mystery. They got a little bit of this, whatever, right? Um, and I'm lumping Psycho Pass in there, even though it's not really a romancy game, but it's still a visual novel. And I feel like it's pretty, it's in the standard normal vein, right? So do you want to go down that route where we do just kind of the status quo, what we've been doing? Or do you want to take a wild left motherfucking turn into crazy town? Because I have games, guys. I've talked about this before for anyone who's watched prior, you know, other visual novel games where I've mentioned, you know, I have some that literally I got because it was on a good sale on Steam, one winter sale. It was like I, some ridiculously cheap price for a ton of these games and half of them were rated like terribly, um, like literally. And I've said I've wanted to do like, Spacey's mixed reviews where I just want to play a game that is mixed reviews that is so awful that we are literally it's so going to be cringy and terrible okay that's what I'm talking about do you want to go down that route do you want to just play something that's cringy and terrible and is probably going to make us regret it greatly um because there's a little bit of me that's like I want to do this eventually but I'm just wondering are you guys ready for that do you want to do that do you want to play it safe um so uh, with that being said, some of the things that are included, so I'll, I'll give you some ideas of a couple of games so you can go look at Steam and just see what I'm talking about. So one of them that I just know that I know is Office Lovers. It literally has mixed reviews on Steam, and one of the, my favorite reviews literally calls it sexual harassment, the game, because it's literally like you're going to work in an office and they're going to treat you like a 1950s secretary, and it's terrible. And it just, I was like so excited. I'm like, this sounds fucking awful. But that's what's great about it, right? So it's terrible. We're probably going to sit there the whole time and be like, what a dick. These guys suck and we're going to hate it. But it's going to be fun for that reason. So we got to go into it in the right mindset. So that's why I'm asking, you know, do you want to do that? One of the other games that I have um, is the Mena Yoshiwara. I've, there's two different ones and I have them both. That is not, those are actually both very highly rated. But why they are on this wild left turn path here is because... They are basically legit about male courtesans, and I swear to God, it's going to be awkward, and it's going to be fucking weird, but it could be goddamn great. Um, you know, because they're all pretty boys, but it's literally like, I, I think the concept is like, I, like, it's an island run by women, and like, in the center of the island, there's just a bunch of like, man sex slaves. It's like, I don't even know. <laughs> and so I don't know, this could go wildly wrong. And it's going to be one of those games that I'm going to be like, I can't read this. This is so embarrassing because you know me, this is what's going to happen. Uh, happen. But, um, 
But I was just browsing through my Steam list and I was like trying to look for games, like thinking like, well, if I put up, you know, a poll video, I want to throw some of my Steam games in there because I'm legit running out of like PS Vita games, which I'm shocked about. We had so many. I'm, you know, down to like three left. And then I have, of course, a couple of PS4 games. And I'm like, well, maybe we should mix it up and throw in a Steam game because we never put those in the mix. Like, and I have a ton of them. And that's when I came across some of these and I was like, huh, instead of giving you a choice on what game you want to play, I want you to tell me what kind. Standard, safe, romancy Atome game where we leave feeling good and wonderful and happy. Looking at you, Seven Scarlet. Why'd you fuck up that pattern? Um, Still bitter. Hashtag forever bitter. Um, or do you want to take the wild left turn into goddamn Crazyville and you want to play one of the goddamn mixed review games, which also includes the Man Harem game? Because that one's positively rated, but it's still a wild left turn into like, oh my god, this is a bit much. So, So let me know what you think. And if you know of any games that are like, in that range of like cringy, really terrible. Let me know if I have it, we can play that one. If I don't, I'm not planning on buying any new games. I don't have the money for that right now. And I have a bazillion games, but, um, but yeah, if you want to play a cringy game, I've got tons of mixed review games. Um, or I also have the nice man harem game, like the man courtesan games, like the man whore game. Uh, so you got, so you got that choice. If you want to go down the debauchery path, Mixed review game where it's probably going to be terrible and we're going to regret our choices. Or, yeah, let's play the man slut game that's actually rated really well. So I guess there's technically three choices you could go down. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. So let me know what you think. Um, what type of kind of a t- romancy Atome game you want to do. And yeah, we'll go from there. Um, I'm going to try to put this up as soon as possible. Um, and hopefully we get some suggestions before I have to start recording to replace Psychedelica. Um, and if not, if we don't get enough or whatever, if the timing's off, then, you know, I'll just pick something and then I'll probably pick something in the safe route. And then what we can do is after that's done, we'll play something. If you guys pick the debauchery route, we'll do that. So, um, again, I'm going to try to get this up as soon as possible so that you guys have time to vote and review and think about it, you know, and, you know, contemplate your life choices (laughs) for that. So anyway, I will see you guys around. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up, leave your vote down below, subscribe to see more. (laughs) 